Welcome to Thought Leaders, featuring interviews with some of the best minds in the industry. Today's special guest is popular platform speaker, software vendor, and best-selling author, Curtis Cloak. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial economist and talk show host. In this segment, we're talking about why income guarantees require insurance and how it works, all from Curtis's popular presentation, Cracking the Retirement Code, and his best-selling software, The Annuity Bulldozer. Well, a lot of people watch your videos. They see our shows. They see that we're talking about different forms of annuity products and different vehicles that only insurance companies can actually create. And people say, well, why can't the security guys do this? Why can't regular bond portfolios make this happen? So there's a little bit of, of, of truth to this. But then people say, well, every time I go to guarantees, I lose the possibility of really making a return because mm -hmm. it's so low. But according to Moshi, this is not so. Yeah, you know, I call the, this is a phenomenon I call the FOMO phenomena. It's the fear of missing out. And what's hard for people to fathom or believe until they actually see the math, that it's possible to take the risk off the table while bringing in some insurance guarantees without giving up performance. And that is mm. certainly not something that's routinely thought to be true or even possible. So let's talk about Moshe Maleski in his article back in July of 2009 for Research Magazine entitled, What's a Guarantee? really worth. And he says, uh, consumers may be rushing into inappropriate GLWB ver via variable annuity purchases because they don't know how to properly translate investment Celsius into economic Fahrenheit. Now, it's an interesting statement, but he doesn't stop there. He goes on in this article to say, most of the, the promotion material re uh, touting re uh, guaranteed lifetime income benefit variable annuity products are very careful to emphasize that these guarantees of 5, 6, and 7% are applied to an income base and not to the account value, which will fluctuate over time. However, I can attest that few people understand how to calculate the implied return on these products and convert it into a number comparable to interest rates in a bank account or investment returns on a mutual fund. Mm -hmm. Instead, the marketing material speaks the language of investment Celsius, the human beings who are hardwired to understand economic Fahrenheit. See, the numbers sound similar, but the scales are completely different. And he goes on to talk about the purpose of this article. And so what we really have are th three basic products that they're available for new sales today to bring insurance guarantees in into the game. And now, now before you get into that though, let's talk about this because I think our industry uses industrial language at the Celsius language area, the, that dialogue, that kind of dialectic way of explaining things. And then the consumers are normal people. I, I just know Fahrenheit. How many people in America go, hey, what's the Celsius degree today? You know, they don't think that way, right? So if I go to you and I say, it's freezing here, do I mean 32 or do I mean zero? And by the way, the only point where Celsius and Fahrenheit meet in the same number is 40 below. Now think about one time when you're frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, walk us through this because I think we are misspeaking. I think we're talking one way and the consumer is hearing and talking another way. So understand that, and I'm going to focus just a minute on the GLWB product. I'm going to focus on you know, the, the variable annuity um, uh, type of, of guaranteed level draw benefit. And the reality is we have a lot of different numbers that relate to the word rate that we understand because the material, the prospectus, the brochures are all providing to us a compliance set of materials, no doubt about that. But because the consumer, when they hear the word rate, anecdotally considers that to be rate of return or has to do with uh, money that's applicable to their growth of their portfolio. But when we start talking about roll-up rates for GLWB, mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with performance of the actual underlying asset whatsoever. So there's one rate. And when we talk about withdrawal rates, again, another rate has nothing to do with performance of the underlying asset. In fact, the roll-up rate means nothing other than a formula to determine an income guarantee, or what I like to call the right of consumption, until we know what the distribution, what the withdrawal rate is. So the, it's a combination of the roll-up rate in combination with the with the withdrawal rate that determines what pace I can consume my own money. That if I do run out of money with longevity and duration, that I don't run out of income because I'm putting an insurance company on the hook of those guarantees. Now I just want to make sure we're all talking the same Celsius Fahrenheit here. And when you come to that conclusion, that's the payout rate, 
not the interest rate of the underlying assets. And understand the payout rate is not performance of the account. Payout rate is the cannibalization or the, um, the, 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 the consumption of the client's own account value. Mm -hmm. It's not performance at all. It simply says that while you have money in the account, you're consuming your money, but you have a right to take this much. And as long as you don't go over this much, mm -hmm. If you live long enough, based on the fact pattern of the math of that account, of that account or contract, and you're still breathing and sucking air, we're going to continue to pay you that number, even if you don't have any money, even until you die. Zero. Okay. And so it, it it it's very easy to comprehend why consumers, mm -hmm. when we talk about rates, so often roll up rate, withdrawal rate, mm -hmm. and it's pretty easy. I say, what if I promise you uh, a a seven percent guarantee for the purposes of income? with full upside to the market and a guarantee that you can't run out, mm -hmm. it's pretty easy to understand how they don't understand the difference between this metaphor Moshe Molesky's using that says Celsius or mm -hmm. Fahrenheit. In one sense, we're talking about something totally unrelated to performance, and yet they're hearing performance. Mm -hmm. And when, in fact, we're talking about the right of a cap of our own consumption of our money before we actually get into the insurance company's pocket for that guarantee. So that, that's really what Moshe is, is talking about. And then, of course, we have the Spias, different product, and Diaz, very similar mm -hmm. cousins here. But uh, one starts within 12 months. The other one doesn't start till after 13 months and could be delayed as much as 40, 50 years. And those are our products today. We have to have an insurance guarantee issued by an insurance mm -hmm. company to mitigate some sort of an, a, an income guarantee. We can't do stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate investment trusts. Only we just insurance can't do products. It. Has to be an insurance product. And we have to talk the right way. Yes. Payout rate, interest rate. Unbelievable. Well, for more information on how you can use Curtis's revolutionary retirement strategy with your clients and prospects to expand your practice, just click on the landing page address in the video description. We'll be right back with more from Curtis Cloak. A solid web presence has never been more important to the success of your business. Introducing Agent Website Creator, provided by Creative One. Through Agent Website Creator, you can create your own personalized website and have it up and running easily with zero knowledge of programming. Choose from several designs with easy drag and drop customization, get proven lead generation offers, professionally written articles and helpful financial calculators, plus the ability to embed videos, integrate your social media, and more. Update your website anytime and show the world within minutes. The best part? It's hosted for free. To learn more about Agent Website Creator, call your Creative One sales team at 800-992-2642 or visit us online at creativeone.com. In this segment, we're talking about why income guarantees require insurance and how guarantees support the right of consumption during retirement. All from Curtis's popular presentation, Cracking the Retirement Code, and his best-selling software, The Annuity Bulldozer. Well, let's get into the weeds a little bit here, Curtis. I, I want to take this basic premise of why we can consume under these new ideas using insurance products like annuities, and we can kind of free ourselves from this. I, I, I think years ago, our generation before us did not have the freedom to consume their assets. They always had to make sure, oh, am I going to make it? They're going to have to do their timelines. I want you to walk us through, we're using a variable annuity uh, example in this. I want you to walk us through the mechanics of this and why we, with what we're going to show as a solution to this, can be your new right. I want to give a new right away, new privilege, a new right in retirement to consume your assets. So I'm going to talk about a chart that we actually used in the RACP curriculum on the retirement income floor, guaranteed income, retirement income floor segment, the 354 with David Littell and myself uh, in, that, uh, in those studio events. And this is also an article that was published, I think, in 2011 in the journal Financial Planning, uh, article titled Measuring the Value of the GLWB. And back in those days, we actually had a very popular variable annuity that had a 7% compounded, compounded. roll-up. Now, we don't have... Uh, really any of those those days, are done. those days are probably gone and I wanted this to be the best example mm -hmm. of the best of times and mm -hmm. so that's what this math and science really does represent so let's just walk through a 55 year old client who's got a half million dollars and they've got 10 years of time to let that thing uh, grow and roll up before they actually need to turn on income so we have to know a few things first of all how are we going to roll that up it's a seven percent compounded so five hundred thousand uh, going for 10 years causes 
the what we call the Celsius. We're back to Moshe Smolesky's Moshe mm-hmm. article about Celsius and Fahrenheit. And in his article for Research Magazine, when he was talking about the Celsius, that's the Celsius. In mm-hmm. other words, what's that 983 mean? really means nothing. It's a formula base that says, mm-hmm. what is my right of consumption? How much income guarantee can I get? So once I know what the Celsius is, and that, that's the terminology I'll use here, I now need to know what the distribution rate is when I turn it on. It's 5%. That's what the withdrawal rate was. And when I take that number uh, by the 5% withdrawal rate, that's what allows me to do the math on the lifetime income guarantee, but we're going to call it for this, uh, for this show, the right of consumption. Why do I call it that? Because mathematically, that is how it actually works. So let's, let's further the conversation. This is the GLWB base with the Celsius. The one on the right here is the lifetime income stream and the lifetime income amount of 49,179 called the right of consumption. So we're gonna talk about this annuity account value. How does it work? Put half a million dollars in, and I'm gonna make an assumption that are going to average 7%. Don't know how likely that is, given all the things we've talked about with Thornburg Investment, real returns and all that, but let's just use 7 because nobody argues when I use 7. I'm going to assume a fee drag of 3.5%. That represents the asset allocation fee, the M&E charge of the variable annuity, and the income rider fee for the guarantees that exist for the income right of consumption. When I take that 500,000, 7% gross minus the fee drag, I want you to see that the Fahrenheit, the actual count value, is 705. Now, I get to see all the components at play. This benefit base probably never comes into play after I turn the income on because I'm taking that $49,000 says as long as in my account value I have 49,179 or more, I'm taking that right of consumption from my dough. It's coming from me, not from the insurance company, not, not out of anybody's pocket. And if at some point I live long enough taking my money, this right of consumption, my money actually runs out and I'm still alive, then the insurance company reaches into their reserves, out of their pocket, and they continue to pay that guarantee of 49179 even with no account value in there, and that's the benefit of the guarantee. So these are the, real, the, the, the right of consumption and the Celsius and the Fahrenheit that Moshe Molesky is really, really talking about. And one last point I might say, interestingly enough, he was talking about the implied value of that. So if I took that $500,000, put it in a bank CD, held it for 10 years, and then wrote myself a check out of that CD for $49,179, like that right of consumption, died 20 years or 20 payments later with zero money in the, in the CD, what if I back tested the rate of return would that CD have to perform at as an implied yield? 3.6. What that 7% compounded rate is worth is really 3.6 in this math. So we need to understand that people and consumers get really confused about all these different rate terminologies. That's the true implied yield. Well, when we look at this, this really shows us the actual number. We're looking at basic methodologies that include the income, the account value, what it could have grown to during the 10-year accumulation. That, to me, is a startler. I think most consumers would look at this number and say, I thought I was getting seven with a guarantee for my income, but my actual rate of return was only 3.6. Well, for more information on how you can use Curtis's revolutionary retirement strategies with your clients to build out your own business, just click on the landing page address in the video description. And for more information on all our shows, seminars, and workshops, just follow us on social media or visit us out on our website. I'm Steve Savant. We'll see you next time on Thought Leaders. And remember, keep thinking outside the box.